Hello, this is Eric Brown with the Scene Analysis. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how to deal with large numbers of people around a table. Now, one of your jobs as a filmmaker, and more specifically as a director, is to make sure the audience is oriented at all times to where the characters are in both their environment and relative to one another. That's why we have rules like the 180 degree rule, for example, to avoid disorienting the viewer. Keeping the viewer oriented is particularly difficult in scenes with multiple people around a table. It involves a large number of camera setups and some very careful blocking and editing. Like this famous dinner scene from Orphan Black. This one is complicated even further by the fact that there are four clones in the scene. So how do we shoot a scene with multiple people around a table keeping the viewer oriented and shooting it as quickly and with as few camera setups as possible? Well. A wide shot that shows everyone is the easiest way to accomplish this, but a wide shot without movement is dull. So in order for this to work, you need to keep the camera moving. Now here are two scenes from an episode of The West Wing. They may not be the best examples of the technique, but considering that they are shooting an entire episode every week, it shows how you can get the job done in a quick, economic way that's visually interesting. The first scene starts open as a steady cam turns towards and encircles a group of people speaking around a table. Focus is always an issue in moving shots like this, so use a wide or medium wide lens to create a relatively deep depth of field. Or a camera with a solid autofocus may do the job as well. As a side note, notice the lamp in the middle of the table. That would never be there in real life, but it gives the scene some depth. As well, you'll see the camera pass very close to the back of the characters on the left for parallax and to enhance that feeling of movement. You'll need to use a gimbal in this type of setting to stabilize the movement. You don't want shaky camera footage to distract the viewer and take them out of the moment. The camera here comes to a stop in a close shot of the principal character at a key moment when he makes an important point. Then he stands up and exits the frame to maintain the movement and energy that the shot requires. In the same episode is this shot. It's similar to the previous shot. It's a large group of people around a table in a short scene, and we need to be quickly oriented to who's speaking and to who. This would be pretty much impossible to shoot in this short time frame with a conventional multi-camera setup. Done in a one take like this, you can see the people who are briefing the president come into view as the camera pivots around him, so you know exactly who's talking and who they're talking to. There's no confusion for the viewer. At the end of the arc, the camera pushes in on the president. This is because the next scene takes us to a flashback of him as a youth, so this push in takes us into his head. So there you have it, two examples of how to deal with large numbers of people around a table and doing it efficiently while keeping the viewer oriented.